Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today, if you have noticed on your map that you have two mutated expeditions on the go, you are not alone. As you can see here on my map in-game, we have both Garden of Genesis with the Eternal mutation on there, and then we have as well the Dynasty Shipyard, and this one is the Hellfire mutation. Now, a lot of players have been wondering about this, asking me both on Twitter and in YouTube comments, as well as I have seen a ton of posts on this on the forums, but they did come out a couple of hours ago and confirm that this is a legitimate feature. So I wanted to quickly cover this for you guys so that you're all in the loop with what is currently happening. So if you do actually follow New World on Twitter, they tweeted out here just a couple of hours ago that we are introducing two mutated expeditions to be active at the same time on each server. Enjoy the encroaching corruption and increased danger in these expeditions. So essentially, we're now going to have have two active at once which is actually pretty cool. Now they also paired this with a forums post four hours ago which is essentially the same thing so I'm not going to read that one out to you guys as well but it's the same thing announcing that this is an official feature and this came out as an announcement after several people had picked up on it. As you can see this post is actually 12 hours old. Those posts were only two to three hours old so it says Gen and Dynasty are both mutated now. Was this intentional or a mistake? Either way love the change but why make Dynasty Hellfire when it was void? Uh Please keep two mutated a week, thanks. Now this actually did get a response from Luxandra, who is the community manager, and they said that they've just pushed for the announcement of it. So that means that it is an official feature that is here to stay. Now more specifically, what I wanted to bring to you guys, kind of the information, obviously wanted to let you know that this is a very, very cool new feature that I'm actually really glad they've added. I'm surprised they didn't kind of announce it ahead of time, but this is great. But as you can see, this post here has been named two mutated at once is cool but and it says they need to be the same elemental type we are not going to switch gems all the time right now we have a fire dynasty and a void genesis is this working as intended now this again got a response from luxandra who said not a bug we just published the announcement for it but i will forward your feedback to the team just in case here is the announcement now Again, some people will be 50-50 on this. Half the community have kind of backed it and said, realistically, if you're going to ask for two at once, you're going to have to prepare for one or the other and just swap out your gems. The other half have said, yeah, actually, it would be really cool if we could just swap the gems once you've put one into a slot, if you could then just switch between a couple of them, even if it is just two different ones, if you're going to have two mutations active at the same time, this would be a useful feature. Again, personally, I'm not sure. I actually think that it's fine as it is. I don't really think they should make it easier because I think that is, again, part of the mechanics of the expedition. If you want to go ahead and you want to do an expedition, a particularly a mutated one, especially when you're pushing for those higher levels where you've got the curses and things as well, the idea of it is that you should be min-maxing your build, you should be getting in the correct gems, the correct food, the honing stones, the tinctures, the curtains, all of the extra stuff that you can have to, of course, give you a better chance at winning, and I think that gems are a part of that. Now, what I would say is it might be potentially nice in the future to get gems as a reward drop if it's a cut pristine version of the related element from completing a mutated version of that expedition, and that is because if you've got two per week and maybe you're doing one day you're going to do one of them the next day you're going to do the other one and keep swapping it about some people will just do one some people just do the other but there is going to be folks that want to do both sets of them and it is going to get very expensive to continuously keep swapping these gems so rather than the idea that some posters have said about maybe swapping two different gems onto one piece and selecting which one you want to use i think an easier way to do it would just be to add some cut pristine gem drops to the mutated expeditions so that maybe we can sort of reclaim and recoup a bit of those and it does mean the next time you run it if you haven't already got gems on you will be able to get some or you can then use them for the next time you swap out i do think that would be a cool feature but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below so that is actually going to be it for today's video i wanted to just briefly show you guys this post again so that you can kind of pause the video here and read through it if you do want to it's very very short and i will leave it linked down below in the description of the video so you guys can check it out for yourself if you want to as well but it's literally just you've got two mutations there you go sort of thing and like we started off the video with, you can see here on my live server, we've got both the Garden of Genesis one up here with the Eternal, which is of course your Void one. And then you've got over here the Dynasty Shipyard with Hellfire. So 
Again, very, very cool that this has been added. I really, really like that. I personally, I much prefer Genesis, and I think most people are kind of the same. Dynasty is pretty difficult. Genesis is a lot more doable, a lot more completionable, I would say, even with some maybe rogue members of your party that are not your usual group. You can still get a pretty clean run with this, so that's why I prefer that one. Um, but it does give people the option, and of course, like we've mentioned there, would you like to see it be the same mutation? E.g. both of these would be void, or they would both be fire at the moment or do you quite like that there's a separate challenge for each one and you can kind of fine-tune your set and fine-tune your party and weapons etc based around which one you would rather take on for me i quite like it as it is but i would be interested to hear your guys thoughts and feelings on that as well but other than that that is literally going to be it for today's video just a quick update a lot of players have been asking me about this so i thought i'd cover it it is official we are having two mutations active at once from now on a new world so go and have fun with it and enjoy this experience i know i certainly am going to other than that, if you've enjoyed the video, found it useful for me to keep you up to date with the latest news, then please do drop me a like and a subscribe down below if you haven't already done so. And other than that, I will catch you guys again on a brand new upload very, very shortly. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and peace!